So guys, we just had dinner at Baba Hai, which is like a Kurdish style uh, cuisine. They have their Kurdish cuisine. Pretty good, I got the cheese kebab, it was nice. So now we're going to the McKellar bar. To the three flights and then uh, uh, mess the guy who we are crashing at. Uh, we we're crashing at his place. The guy we we're crashing with us or crashing at his place is um, there already because he's getting a <laughs> three flights tattoo for free there. Uh, but um, he says it's pretty packed already, so and it's like in an hour or so. So we're going now. And hopefully, we will. Well, well, we will probably won't get it, be able to sit down, but. Let's hope we don't have to wait in line for too long. So guys, we'll see you guys in like sometime when we get some pretty voice beers. Cheers. That's how much. Guys, so we're at the Three Floyds event at McKellar Bar. We're sitting outside because it's totally packed inside. We can't really record there because then we would spill beer everywhere. And this is too darn expensive to spill. I got a barrel aged behemoth, a brandy barrel aged, vanilla bean brandy barrel aged Dark Lord here. Uh, 100 kronas for this, 150 kronas for this. That's crazy. But I've been saving up for this, so I guess it's alright. That's probably the most money I've ever spent on beer. Uh, but yeah, the behemoth, I mean, that's just murky reddish brownish color. And the aroma on it is just filled to the brim with a dark fruity kind of notes. Uh, a lot of the, the bourbon and barrel aging is in there too. Along with like a cherry note, maybe some sugary esters in, in there too. It smells like a really, really big barley wine. Uh, I don't get much of the alcohol, but I get like a sugary ester, maybe almost molasses. <laughs> that is a big beer. The mouthfeel, full, um, pretty smooth. You do taste a little bit of the alcohol. I believe it's on 15% or something like that. But I do taste a little of it. It's got some of the kind of like. Um, um, uh, al phenol alcohol kind of in there, but along with that you get a lot of the uh, barrel aging, a lot of wood, a lot of wood, a lot of whiskey or whiskey bourbon, uh, vanilla notes too, along with a, an intense amount of dark fruit, almost like buttery sensation to it too. Uh, really, really big party wine. But Jakob is just going to talk to you about his IPA he's written on it before I, we do the uh, dark lord. Yeah. yeah, guys, I got the oh, yeah. um, Three Floyds Dreadnought Double IPA. It's on, was, what was it? I don't I remember. Yeah, I, yeah, I can't remember. We'll check up on that. But it was also pretty down expensive, 55 kronos for 20 centiliters. It's, oh, it's very expensive. But as you can see, it's... it's uh, kind of a traditional IPA yeah, color, I'd say. Smell on it, it's... There's some... Dark fruity notes, a little, a lot of hops. Obviously. Yeah, that's about it. I can't Did you it. say dark fruit or grapefruit? Grapefruit. Oh yeah. Grapefruit, I believe. Yeah, grapefruit. I meant grapefruit. Yeah, a lot of hops. Yeah, uh, tasting wise, it's really rounded off. It's very. Um, Easily drinkable. Uh, the mouthfeel is medium, no, no dry finish. Uh, taste wise, there's some tropical fruity notes. Uh, in general, a very, very drinkable beer. Uh, it's a very good, good double a IPA. I, yeah. I had a little tasting of it and it was pretty good. Um, now, <laughs> we also got the big expensive boy for 150 kronos. Just before we go to that, that's the McKellar bar right there, where you can see the people. Um, doesn't look that packed from here, but there's a lot of people inside, and there's like a huge line. But <laughs> and we're just sitting here in the uh, alleyway, so to speak, at the, yeah. in the curb. Okay, guys, we're here with uh, uh, the brandy barrel aged 
Dark Lord with vanilla beans in it too. Uh, 15 or was it 16 percent? Big beer. Um, let's take out the aroma. Wow, there's a lot of vanilla in yeah, there. Yeah, there's a lot going on here. Uh, Bob smells really smooth, smoothened out. Um, I, I don't smell the al alcohol really. I do get some roasted malt, some dark fruit in there. Chocolate maybe too. Yeah. A lot of the bourbon character, but the bourbon is mellowed out into a, like a vanilla kind of note. Yeah. Maybe a touch of almonds or something like that. Yeah. Some sort of toffee kind of. Yeah, toffee, definitely. Yeah. Let's give it a taste. Yeah, cheers. So called one of the best out in the world. <laughs> this is just extremely smooth. Wow. I mean, greatest beer in the world, best beer I've ever had. No. Good beer. Hell of a darn good beer, man. Wow. It's definitely up there for me. It's one of the best beer I've had. Yeah. Um, Again, a, the mouthfeel, first off, is full. It's very creamy and oily, too. Yeah. Uh, this is slightly chilled. We've been warming it up for a bit before we even drank any of this stuff, except the IPA. I get a lot of uh, the, the, the dark food <laughs> uh, and, and roast malts, but the, the most dominant thing is like a vanilla, sweet, sugary note, uh, toffee, as you said. Yeah. That's, and the, the bourbon in there. Or brandy, brandy. The alcohol is not present at all. No, no, not at There's all. There's no trace of alcohol. I get like an oakiness in there too. But, uh, I guess it, the sweetness, I know it's really sweet uh, already. I've never had the regular dark one. I've only had this, but I know that already it's intensely sweet. But I guess the brandy barrels helps do that. Right? It's, uh, helps making it even more sweet. Great beers, all of these. Um, we, Jakob also tasted my behemoth. I tasted his dreadnought. And <laughs> I, un I kind of understand the hype of Three Floyds because they do make some really good beer. Uh, we're not really going to go ratings here because we don't want to do a full review of these because then we could sit out here all evening. But I'll say in the 90s range for all of these beers. 90 plus. Yeah, 90 plus. Uh, not a 100 on any of them, but still great beers. So, guys, we might catch you later with some more beer from the, this event. Who knows? Uh, it was a very expensive, so we'll see. But uh, see you later. Cheers. Cheers. <laughs> Some guys there, but uh, cutting the bit. Come again? No, we're recording the video. Yes, you go. Oh, <laughs> oh no, 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 the skull here. No, 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 my friend, my friend, no. Skull. This no photo girl photo, photo, photo of skull. Not with this no, beer, no, it's, it's oh, too damn expensive. Guys, uh, these, these beers are very okay, expensive. Okay, okay. Very oh. okay photo, good. Oh. So, cheers, guys. Oh. Hey, photo. Det er meget mere Og så står alle alle... Det er 20 hænder i hånden, ikke? Der får jeg to, jo. Det har smagt en pejne. Ja. Nej, det er sådan. Åh, der er kølig, da. Ja, selvfølgelig er der kølig. Jeg tror, det er bare... Så står der lige en pejne i de ældre derovre. What the fuck? Seriøst? Ja. Det er en fyr fra Moonlight Brewing, der tager den der. Ja. Tager jeres brygger. Ja. Det er ikke så tosset arbejde her, er det det? Nej. Man går sådan, og så, så bruger man det oppe i Aalborg, og så siger man, ej, nu har vi ikke godt tåget det. Jeg har det ikke jo godt udvalgt, og så kommer man lige nærmere op. Du får en ordentlig spark bag her, så ja, det er ikke godt. Du har altid taget spillet i bibliotek. Skal vi det? Der har vi også på hele forhånden. Og der er jo dårligt. Let's go, Lord. Yep. Dark Lords. Arctic Pants and Pool. Ready? Let's come see now. Okay, guys, we're at the uh, McKellar Barn right now. We're in their storage facility where they keep all their stuff, uh, both the uh, kegs, the bottle beers, and you can see, like, we got. Some Dark Lords, uh, Behemoth, over here we got <laughs> Planet of the Elder, uh, Cigar City, Ailsmith, Ailes, uh, Jadale, 
That's pretty much everything right in here. That's pretty crazy. That's a pretty large facility. Most of these beers are on sale at uh, the bar itself, so. I guess Miglin's got his connection, all right? <laughs> this is pretty awesome. Yeah, they're very good. What's that? A nerd? A nerd? A nerd? A nerd? A Vi har kun fået en big smoke, så